Hey, how are you doing? I'm Odin. And I'm Yvette. And welcome to Amsterdam Clock Vlog. Your local guide to the city. This episode is all about film locations. But before we start, please remember to subscribe to our channel or join us on Instagram and Facebook. The city is ready. Let's go. Amsterdam is a beautiful city. We share that view with a lot of other people, including film and series makers. Filming is regularly done in the city. In this first part of the series, we choose a well-known movie that was filmed in or around Amsterdam. So you too can visit these locations and stand where the actors were. This video is about locations of Ocean's 12. It was partially filmed in Amsterdam. It's an American Warner Bros. comedy from 2004 by American director Steven Soderbergh. A sequel to the 2001 film Ocean's 11, also directed by Soderbergh. The scenes that take place in Amsterdam were shot in May 2004. Stars George Clooney, Brad Pitt and Matt Damon play a part of a team that steals in Amsterdam, Paris and Rome in order to pay off vengeful Las Vegas casino owner Terry Benedict, who has haunted them since the events of the previous film. In Amsterdam, a valuable certificate will be stolen. According to the film, one of the oldest VOC shares in the world. It won't be easy, as they have to deal with a rival thief, the Night Fox. The order 12 in the title refers to both the sequence numbers of the film and the number of gang members. The 11 from the original film plus Tess Ocean, who is played by Julia Roberts. Dutch actor Jeroen Grabe plays the role of Van der Wouden. The first location we visit is the Hotel Pulitzer, where the group arrives together with the Arsenal football team. Incidentally, this is not the main entrance of the hotel, but only one of the passages to enter the hotel. The main entrance to the hotel is on the other side, at the Prinsengracht. This part of the hotel is located on the corner of Keizersgracht and Reestraat. It is part of the 9th Street. A nice area for shopping and dining when visiting Amsterdam. Then we see Rusty at a funeral. This is Memorial Park Westgaarden, all the way on the west side of Amsterdam. Not very ideal to visit due to its location. Later that evening, Rusty is hiding behind a tree at the next location. He is watching Isabel enter a house. This house is at number 460 on the Keizersgracht. In the next scene we see the guys walking from Koningsplein onto the Heilige Weg, bending to the Handboogstraat. Here the three men visit the original Damkring coffee shop for the meeting. This is a real coffee shop you can visit in real life.
When the men look at van der Waarde's house on Herengracht 497, which is actually a museum called the Patekabinet, they do so from the roof of the building of het Prins Bernard Cultuurfonds on Herengracht 476. Especially the eagle on the crown of the facade of this building is very recognizable. At the front of van der Wouden's house, an extra plaque has been placed to cover the shield of the original museum. A fun fact is that the name van der Wouden comes from the second unit assistant director for the film named Basti van der Wouden. After finding out they don't have a line of sight, Danny and Rusty go for a walk to get some ideas. They do this on the Kloveniers Burghall and walk towards the Aluminium Bridge. On this bridge Rusty comes up with the idea to lift the house. At this location you can stand where Brad Pitt and George Clooney used to stand. After this, we are back on the Herengracht where a boat is now docked in front of the Van der Wouden house and the team is cranking up the house. The next day, Isabel pays a visit to the Rob house. This location is called Beauty Salon Hoofdzaak. This is the nail studio where Frank comes out and Isabel catches him off guard before his arrest together with two agents. Where Frank exits is the staircase to a shop. This is located at 19 Weteringstraat near Eerste Wetering Dwarsstraat. Eventually the men leave Hotel Pulitzer with the Arsenal bus at the same location as the first scene in Amsterdam. The last location in the Netherlands is not in Amsterdam. Although they like to have us believe that they are in Amsterdam Central, this scene was recorded at Haarlem Station. Here we see a few conversations take place. A Thalys train was driven to Haarlem especially for this scene, although it never comes here in real life. The Thalys was used in the movie accidentally broke the upper contact wire. Since the wire broke at the point where several wires connected, the power on several tracks was lost. It took two hours to undo the damage.
We conclude this episode with a drink. Hope you enjoyed it. And if so, please remember to subscribe to our channel or join us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you for watching and we'll leave you with this impression of Amsterdam. Until next time, cheers. cheers. If you want to see more of Amsterdam, select one of the videos on the left. We appreciate it if you would subscribe and follow us on the socials. Thank you for watching, until next time. <laughs>